Everyone sees the plays on Saturday, but few understand the work the Ohio football team puts in when no one is in the stands. As a staff, I mean, we're up till about probably 11 o'clock. You know, we're doing some type of film work. And then uh, <clears throat> we'll, we'll take a break and, and script practice and, and then have a script meeting uh, right after lunch. The film projectors are definitely getting used uh, at this time of year for sure. This is Daz Patterson's fourth year in the OU program, and he is still trying to find the time to get his mental reps in. And even with that much experience, he knows how vital film is to his performance. Outside of practice, uh, anytime I got, you know, just some free time, you know, getting into the bed at night or something like that, I, I try to, you know, get a little bit of film. It's tremendously important to understand, you know, the things that are going on on the defense. You can overdo it, but you, but you can certainly do it, underdo it if you're not careful. We don't put a number on them. But, but um, we, you know, with today's social media, internet, Wi-Fi everywhere, it, it's, it's, for, it's for certain uh, very accessible for those guys with, with, our, with our video system. Patterson is now the senior player in the running backs room, and Albin has been his position coach for his entire career. Now, Albin relies on Patterson more than ever to help the younger guys in the film room. He's a Wiley veteran. He knows, he definitely knows our, our offense inside and out and um, he's very helpful with the younger guys. He's um, reliable, and I'm, I'm very, very happy with, to have him in my room. I, I'm, glad, I'm glad that he's a Bobcat for sure. Coaches and players spend hours each day going over plays, schemes, and techniques, and Albin knows that he has to do something to keep the players focused. I don't know if they're tricks or not, but I'm a, I'm a tongue-in-cheek guy. I, you know, I, got a little, I got some music going in the background. You know, that's, you know, so it's not, because you're in there, I mean, you're in there from, when I mean, we're in there from six in the morning to, you know, nine at night. Um, if we're not practicing, we're in, there, we're in there together. And so you got, you got six guys in the same room, you know, and it's a small room, you know, and you're doing, doing the same thing day after day after day, it can get, it can get monotonous. No matter how tedious watching film is and how fun Albin tries to make it, at the end of the day, he knows how important it is on game day. I think there's got to be some give and take. I got a few tricks up my sleeve, but uh, um, in all in all, it comes down to, to you, you want to have your have the best game plan you can have available, and, and you have, there's a certain way you, you need to prepare to get that done. And being in that room all those hours is kind of that's how it, this is how it is, and so we all have to make it work. Albin has his own little tricks, and there are rumors of players hopping on Madden to learn the plays. Patterson though doesn't buy it. I don't play Madden. I don't really get into the video games very much, but uh, a lot of guys do. They love the game. I, I don't know how much it is, uh, to, how much it's uh, to learn the plays, but uh, because obviously Madden doesn't have our plays on it, but uh, I, I've heard that a lot of guys play Madden.